again, Steve here. Just got back from a run. It's about uh, minus 25 with the wind. <laughs> well, there's a wind chill factor out there, all right. I have no idea what it is. I'm not about to make that calculation off the top of my head. But anyway, as I was running, sometimes things come to me. And one of the things that came to me this morning was kind of the missing link to effectiveness. And because I was thinking last night I was at a Toastmasters club and there's a, a lady there who's always really enthusiastic, this young, uh, young lady, and very inspiring to see that kind of enthusiasm. And she actually won the most enthusiastic award for the evening, which is great. And um, one of the things I thought about was that we can be enthusiastic, right? And we can even have credentials that somehow say we're enthusiastic. For example, in Toastmasters, we have this we have these different grades. Like the highest one is DTM, Distinguished Toastmaster. You would think that if somebody, if a club, and it's one in a thousand or so who, who actually aspire to that and gain that. If uh, you'd think that if, if somebody, some club was fortunate enough to have a distinguished toastmaster in the ranks, that they would people would gravitate towards that, right? Not the case. In fact, what I've noticed is that the more DTMs there are, <laughs> the lousier the club. I knew a club once that had like four or five out of its massive ranks of about six DTMs. And it was completely lackluster, just really incredibly lackluster. When people, I think, when they sit back on their laurels, when they sit back on their credentials, or they sit back on anything else, and they don't add what really matters, things flounder. I'd rather see somebody with enthusiasm than with a distinguished toastmaster, for sure, because just the effects are so much different. So I thought about this while I was running. I was thinking, you know what? We could do all kinds of things to make things work in our lives, but unless we add certain important ingredients, we go nowhere. And of course, this is a very tired, cliched analogy. I know, I realize, but hey, what the heck, I'll go with it anyway. Suppose you and I were to spend half a lifetime building this perfect, perfect car. It's the best, man. It's terrific, as Trump would say. But we forget one ingredient. One ingredient. What would, what would happen? We'd get in it, we'd turn the key. Nothing. Again. Nothing. Eventually, it'd be. Nothing. Dead. Dead to the world. We forgot to put gas in it. The enthusiasm, the energy, we forgot to put in it. If we had put that in, it would have been. See how this is shaking? Be like that. Lots of energy, raring to go. And I think that if we forget this thing, to put the enthusiasm into what we do, uh, things are a bit lackluster. So think about it this, think about this. If we had built a substandard car, or gotten a beater, and nothing else, at least if it ran, we put gas in it. Sure, it wouldn't run great, but it would run, it would work, right? So enthusiasm is so critical. It's kind of like the energy we put into something. If we don't put it in, then we're kind of stuck. No matter how good we think we are, no matter how, many, how high our credentials are, eventually that's going to catch up with us, and we're not going to have a lot of interest in what we're doing. And of course, our quality of life, so often, if we're going to be doing things in the world anyway, it involves the um, engagement, cooperation of other people. And in voluntary circumstances, unless we're coercive government agents, we really can't get people involved with us for long unless there's something in it for them. And one of the things that we can give is our enthusiasm. And that seems to be contagious. People kind of love that. And also, it's just effective because it energizes us. Steve here getting great chatting. My thumb is starting to freeze up here in the wind chill factor. And I will close off. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe, share, and like. Great chatting. Talk ends with my friend.